where would you like to begin? Well, I think we've got someone. I have that little card in, here. We? Oh. We, we got sent. We got sent this. Uh, this is one of our team whose uh, whose daughter did that, which is absolutely lovely. What I love is the inside. Uh, it says, uh, "Dear Queen, Happy Birthday. Uh, lots of love." Um, and uh, eat lots of cake. And that's from and I'm Freya. Sure Freya, who's four <laughs> years old, bless Very her. Very cute, isn't it? So we're starting off today with some wall art. And um, this is quite an uh, out there, bold idea. Um, and it's a great way of sort of paying homage to our queen um, yes. in your home all year round rather than just today. Yeah. Um, so, so first off, it's, all you need is basically to get a frame with a backboard. Now you remo remove the glass and the paper, and everything like that, and you basically are just going to layer the, fl the flag, the material, over the top. But we're going to start with the Queen's head first. So what you need to do, on the internet you can get these and they're free downloads, and you can blow up to whatever size you want. And you need to cut round that onto felt, basically, right, and then so cut it out. Is stencil. But what I would do, as a word of advice, is I would actually stick the paper onto the felt then go round so it get a really clean because edge. the felt shifts around and everything like that and then when you come to actually cutting out the the holes in the crown i would use a craft knife or scissors and just be really careful okay. that you don't hurt yourself so you put that to one side and then you take this is actually a pillowcase that i've got oh right yeah and um you can get a normal flag but you have to make sure that when you're actually putting it on your board you get the nice center part of the flag yes like that so basically what we're going to do is I've laid it down and I've folded the edges over, like so, and then you just get your staple gun or a bit of glue and you press down like that. And, that's and it goes it. in. <laughs> it's quite violent. So satisfying. And like this. So then it should be really tight and you can obviously re-stick it if you're not happy. Yeah, make sure it's so on So you the place that down like this, you take the Queen's silhouette. Oh, it's very simple but very effective. Very simple isn't it? but very effective. You stick it into position and then before you've obviously put it together, you want to spray paint your frame with red spray paint. And this is the finishing thing. And what I've done, I've added some pearls to the necklace. Or you can add some jewels up to you. Lovely. But it looks really effective. And also... Do you know what? And also, if you didn't want to do this sort of thing, yeah. you could make cards and all sorts of things yeah, like this. You wouldn't have to necessarily make a frame. Make it big, make it small. But like small. just that on top of yeah, something is exactly. quite a nice thing to and do. And obviously, I am aware that these aren't the like colours for everybody's home. They're quite in your face. I know they're like traditional, but... If you want to change it into black and gold or pink and white or something like that, if you can't find a flag that's got that motif on it and those colours, then make it out of felt. Or paint it. Or paint it, yeah. yes. And you can All mix the space. medias and things like that.